Welcome to the Meg Room on Friday night with your hosts, Jared and Mark. All around the world you can hear them. Hey, hey, hey. Talking about losing kind of funny stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Meg Room. Meg Is there a reason I can't see your face? Or I had to put oh, myself... Yeah, I'm just not going to do it anymore. Why not? Because you put me on Instagram. So I have to That's take that away. That's not fair. How did you find out? <laughs> you guys have done it for three weeks in a row. It took... Or three things in a row. I, I Someone texted me and was like, this is... Yeah, oh, Jesus. Yeah. I told your sister said it, and then I said, don't tell Mark, because he won't want to do it. Yeah. And I thought maybe you'd never find out. <laughs> it's funny because I went on Instagram. I was like, God damn it, they did it three times. And I thought it looked pretty good. Paul's going to be disappointed. He wanted me, he wanted to tell you. He's like, I think Mark will like it. I'm like, no way. He oh, well, like, thank so, you, so Paul, not... for sticking out. I know Paul less than you, and he's a better friend than you are. Yeah, That's but crazy. then you would have cut it off after one. I wouldn't have let I wouldn't have let any of them go through. At least you know, we got three of like, them. How the f- did I was like, did they ask me to do this? And so I went back through my tasks, texts, and there was one where Paul said something like, "You have to send me the video." And if I fall too, if if I look at my phone and there's like 30 texts that I haven't read, I just don't read any of them. So it's my fault. I just trusted you without like <laughs> I, without I knew without following I up knew, or anything. No, I knew you would say no, and I thought it looked cool. It's like a 12 second video with our words underneath. It's great. It's really good. We have like, we've last two episodes have had like 100 listeners from the Instagram. That's also not true, but. I know. (laughs) Everybody that listens to the show knows what I look like, Paul. Yeah, so why do you care? I just do. All right. I just do. So I can't see you anymore on our videos. Well, no, because you're going to keep publishing them. I promise we won't. Yeah. We did this. I did the I made this mistake already. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine did some work at my house and I wanted to promote his company. I'm just gonna do a quick ad read if you guys don't mind. Um, sure. Okay. This episode of the Mag Room is brought to you by Dennis Boyea Appliance Repair. Dryer on the Fritz? Leaky dishwasher, refrigerator beeping? Call Dennis Boyea Appliance Repair at 561 339 2684 for all of your household repair needs. Serving Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast, Dennis has over 30 years of experience and plenty of positive customer reviews. He's licensed and insured, and he works on all major brands Kenworth, GE, Maytag, Corporacion Industrial, Del Modelo de Nogalar, Frigidaire. You name it, he can fix it. And Dennis has never betrayed or double-crossed his customers by saying he will do one thing and then doing the exact opposite. <laughs> Call Dennis Boyaya Appliance Repair at 561-339-2684 for all of your household needs. Once again, that's Dennis Boyaya Appliance Repair at 561-339-2684. Mention this ad and get 90% off your next repair job. I wonder, though, if Dennis ever thought something was really good for the customer if he just did it for them. What do you mean? Like everybody, like, they're like, oh, I got to put in this this water line thing. And the guy's like, ah, I don't know. And then he just did it just for the goodness of his heart. I would think Dennis probably never betrayed a friendship for Instagram. I could be wrong. But and I know him. I don't know him like super well. I don't know him as long as I've known you. You know, Sounds like you're, like you're talking you, about you something else now. I thought, a, you meant, I thought you meant applies. You were supposed to be a better dude. friend to me than Dennis is. But I think Dennis probably wouldn't betray me for an Instagram post. I see. Yeah. So, so, this, just, is like, so this is like a Judas moment? No, or? no, no, no. I was just reading a, a, an ad. Like I said, Dennis did some repair work for me. I, uh, I just wanted to promote his company a little bit. Yeah, but you, you you strictly put in there that he didn't like betray anyone, yeah. and so I was just wondering maybe what that meant. Like no. if somebody like well, somebody would... asked him to repair the thing, like he wouldn't repair it. Oh, or... oh, oh, specifically what that means. Uh, I just he I just... thought maybe he went, and I said maybe he went above and beyond sometime. Maybe somebody didn't ask him to do something, but he's like, I'm gonna do this. 
and go went above and beyond, did it. Um, great. Anything else you got? Any other ads or? Uh, I printed out a bunch of stories about betrayal. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's some really. I mean, betrayals usually get a lot of. You know, it's funny. It was so I was stuff in in the news. If so you want to, if you want to do a quick callback to a, a, a story we did, uh, whew, probably eighty episodes ago, I would guess. Um. I, go- I was Googling, like, friends, betrayal, friends, backstab, blah, blah, blah. And I found Snoop Dogg and Master P are uh, accusing Walmart of sabotage. Do you remember the story? And you, you said it to me, too. The story we uh, did about the... Snoop-, Snoop Loops. Snoop Loops, yeah. The cereal we came up with, and then... Oh, that's right. Wait. Yeah, that's that why go? I sent it to you. We came I, up with we, it before Snoop Dogg Our first Dogg episode. Yeah, our first episode. Really? I talked about products that Snoop Dogg would come up with, and one of them was Snoop Loops, a cereal, and then he came up with and put out Snoop Loops. Wow. And I now he, Walmart, will, maybe Walmart doesn't want to be complicit in the fraud that was portrayed on this, perpetrated on this show. I don't remember. I didn't remember it that way. Wow, you should be getting paid somehow for this. Yeah, you even played the clip. You even cut the clip and put it in the episode (laughs) where we talked about it the second time. Is it hard to believe that I didn't find me on Instagram for a month when I can't even remember that I cut out stuff for a Snoop Dogg thing? Sure. Well, you just, uh, you've done a lot of producing. You're. Whew, have I ever. Plus, probably me doing this just threw you for a loop. You're probably blacked out. Having the last week, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been you know, you have pretty... that scene where, the scene where somebody turns on you and you just kind of black out and you don't know what's going on. Yeah, and... yeah you've been, you're just eating food. Like, you you wake up with food around you. You know how, like, when you're depressed, you don't leave your bed, you just eat in bed? <laughs> yeah. I've been having, like, take out um, tin can things in my bed with me. Night court's on, but I'm not laughing. Oh wow! Yeah, and that's when I know it's serious. Yeah, no, it's been. I found out. I think I found out Monday. So Mon- just that's when we left. Yeah, right as I was waving, I was. I remember I was waving <laughs> to your plane, and then I, I, I was like, "All right, I see you guys. It was such a great trip. I trust both of you so much." And then I, and then I opened my phone. I don't and, trust anyone in the world more than you. You guys two. are the best. I love you and Ross so much. And then I had, I had, I really hadn't been checking my texts that much over the weekend. And I looked uh, as the plane was leaving, and I was. What waving. did the text say that tipped you off? Uh, it was a picture. It was just. Um, was it someone who knew you wouldn't like it, or were they yeah. just trying to be? They were trying to be funny about, like, no. see if you would be. No, he knows. Hey, that, Mark, look at this. this. Is cool. He knows that I don't. Uh, that I'm terrified so, of having my picture. So it was taken. definitely it was Aaron. No. Nope. Now? No, no. It was a better. It was just a good friend who cares about me. Oh, and a my better friend fear. than Aaron. Well, just. Huh? Oh, I meant that you. I, yeah. Well, and I was just thinking, like, well, maybe the podcast would even be better if we just like hated each other. That does happen at times where like the talent hates each other. They don't want to do it. Then they get really popular. And then the bands break up because they can't handle it. That would be me. That would be something that would happen to me. No, just that. Just having my picture out there makes me like uncomfortable, for real. And I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm not crazy pissed about it. I'm just a third pissed about it. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That stuff makes me nervous. It just does. But I don't mean to grind this to a halt or anything. Um, you want to do a few Sisk stories? That's exactly what I want to do. That's good. First one was uh, about a new word that's trending. Sisk, Sisk stories. stories. Have you ever heard of Herkle Durkle? That's that song by Donovan, right? Then when Is the Herkle Durkle man came singing songs of love. Hey, when I, the did, I didn't know that. Man came do you know what it means? Song. Herkle Durkle? Yeah. Uh, it's probably how you felt after you learned that I betrayed you. Oh, disappointed that I've trusted you for 30 years without having... No, maybe how you acted. Maybe not how you felt. Oh, gun in the mouth, cold sweats. 
Don't know what to do with yourself. Just you and a pad of paper on your bed. Not even any yep, sheets says, on the bed. To lie in bed or lounge when one should be up and about. Mm. Yeah. Also known as bed rotting. Ew. That sounds gross. Yeah, Herkel Durkel sounds better. <laughs> Is it German? It's an old Scottish term. This, this article said you should set limits on your Herkel Durkel <laughs> behavior. So don't herkle durkle to avoid tasks, conversations with your friend about Instagram, or processes that need your attention. In the old vaudevillian uh, tradition of funny words having lots of K's in them, the letter oh, K, yeah. herkle durkle is pretty funny. Like it's true. Rhyming. Sounds like a, it really of, sounds like a dance. It could be a city name, you know, like Walla Walla. I think it could sure. be like an old Indian city name. Yeah, I was from herkle durkle. I grew up in Herkel Durkel, Idaho, just south of <laughs> <laughs> just south of Cordelia. Just south of Bed Rot, Indiana. <laughs> uh, bed Rot. Bedrock? No, 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 no. Bed, bed rot. rot. Yeah. Yeah, we had it was you know tough fat times. people. You know when tough fat people can't get bed. out of their bed and eventually their bloated corpses are hauled with a with a crane through the yeah. roof. We the, invented the, that. The, the, yeah, the stuff underneath, that's called bed rot. And that's us. Awesome. We named the <laughs> We named the entire town after that. We had a factory that uh, made it. Made Wonderful bedrock. smell. You would think that it smells disgusting and putrid and musty, but no, no, no. It's flowery, very flowery. Beautiful smell. So, Herkel, I know you like new words, so I thought I would bring I that up. You like so new you could words. Um, I right, learned the word. So the second... perf- you, ever, you know what the word perfidious means? P E R F I D I O U S? I don't. Should I guess? Sure. It's a word that I learned this week. Perfidious. Something to do with being like anal, anally clean. No. Wow. It's very. Uh, not not like you're specific. clean in your anus, but like you're very. Oh, anally like, retentive. An- yes. Clean. Okay. Not, I, just I honestly anal. thought you I meant realized, your anus was clean. <laughs> I realize now I just said anally clean, so. Yeah. Um, no, it's like deceptive. Um, okay. Uh, you know, someone who. Betrays another. That kind of it's thing. a good word. Yeah, perfidious. I liked it. Perfidious. So you learned that, and then you herkle dirkled. Turned myself around, and then I <laughs> came to the mag room. <laughs> <laughs> the Super Bowl is this weekend. That's not what this is about. This is about a new competition that you might even like more than wrestling. Okay. It's called slap fighting. I've seen I've seen this. Slap fighting is simple. Two competitors, usually hulking men, slap one another hard. Ducking or dodging is forbidden, as is protective headgear. A bout typically concludes with one fighter lying on the ground unconscious. <laughs> Have you ever watched this? No. An audience of more than 4.2 million follows Power Slap, America's first official slap fighting league on TikTok. Is it so owned on Friday, by the, Is it owned by? Does it say anything about being owned by Dana? Um, uh, the USC it? guy, yeah. Dana White, owns it. Yeah, I saw. I saw some clips. He, of he this. actually invented it. I don't know <laughs> if he owns this one. He invented. I don't know how my long that was really like a big think tank invention or on TBS and then got canceled partly because of low ratings and partly because of a controversy after Mr. White was filmed slapping his wife. <laughs> I'm probably not supposed to laugh at that, huh? Yeah. Seems like if you have any issues with brain damage, this would not be the sport for you to watch. You can watch it. You shouldn't do it. I see. No. I mean, I have that struggle sometimes. With, I mean, I like watching football, and then I realize, like, the guys, some of the guys, like, guys have brain trauma after. Yeah. Struggle with that a little bit. I mean, I guess wrestling's probably the same. Yeah, the, every wrestler. That's the one thing about wrestling that I is, is interesting to me is that the actual wrestling really doesn't interest me at all. But anytime I've ever watched, like, a documentary about a wrestler, those are very interesting stories. Oh, they're, yeah. they're I mean, those guys people. live interesting lives. Yeah. You'd like that movie, the new Iron Claw. I like the wrestler. Movie. I remember that. It's similar. It's just about a family. It's based on a true story, but yeah, 
a wrestling family from Texas, and it's a lot of tragedy, but it's sort of about their lives. Okay, I'll check it out. Body just like seizes up, and they just go like it's you know all their limbs just kind of become stiff. It's the craziest looking thing in the world, and to make your living doing shit like that is just beyond me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so. I can't imagine. I mean. You're doing something where you're letting people like the slap. I mean, slap fighting is even probably harder to fathom. These guys you know get, you're going to get in the head. You're definitely well, going to get in get, the head. And they got paid. They get paid nothing. Yeah, they probably don't get paid much. I mean, boxing, maybe you could get out of it if you fought, I don't know, 30 fights, making a little bit of money and then not full brain damage. These guys just getting slapped in the head. Yeah. And you can't protect yourself. Former Alabama baseball coach Brad Bohannon received a 15-year show clause, show cause penalty from the NCAA for violating wagering and ethical conduct rules. So basically got, it's basically a lifetime ban um, for him. Any school that hires him would have to suspend him for the first five regular seasons of his employment. <laughs> so, what What is it called? A show cause? Sh- show cause I don't know huh. I didn't, okay. but really they, that's, that's somewhat interesting but this was the they had the uh, uh, excerpt from the NCAA's findings um, he had told his friend Eugene Neff Jr. Um, that the Alabama scheduled starter wouldn't be able to pitch so Neff was going to pay some back So shortly after receiving the electronic messages for Bohannon, the better attempted to place a $100,000 wager on the LSU baseball game at a bet MGM sportsbook. But the sportsbook staff limited the better to a $15,000 wager. Wait, what did he want to bet? $100,000. Limited to 15, okay. Yep. So then he attempted to place additional wagers (laughs) involving the the game. Wearing a mustache? Yeah, I don't know. Sounds like it. (laughs) But the sportsbook staff declined. I'd also like to bet to $15,000 on the Alabama Crimson Tide baseball team. To decline the wagers due to suspicious activity. Do you want to know what the suspicious activity included? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Suspicious activity on the baseball team or on the betting side? On On the the better. On Uh, Neff, this guy, Eugene Neff. Okay. Um, Am I right? Did he put on disguises? (laughs) Would be great if you were, but it was not. Okay, so he, he was think. not very smart. Think of the dumb, some of the dumbest things. Is the funny <laughs> thing be. that he's trying to put more than one bet on the same team? I don't. Nope. I don't know if I get how. Um, he's just trying to talk them into doing the bet. Like, come on, you gotta let me do this. I'll if you let me put a hundred thousand dollars on this, I'll give you like a payoff. Like he, I'll, I'll give you five thousand. No, no payoff. Like, no, that would be that's a good guess though had an insistent demeanor to get the bet placed and statements to sportsbook staff that the bet was for sure going to win <laughs> and if you guys knew what I knew. And then this the, also included the better showing sportsbook staff messages from the Alabama coach and explaining that the messages were the Alabama coach informing the better that Alabama was scratching its starting pitcher before the game. What a and before dickhead. Bohanna alerted LSU. Oh my God! So, is that like kind of like if biggest, your friend told him biggest, when not to put you on Instagram, and then you just did it? Sort of the same. Yeah, you know, it's as hurt as I feel by your actions, I would be more pissed off if I never got to coach. If I spent my entire life playing baseball, learning baseball, getting tutelage under great coaches, working my way up, getting to a big time program like Alabama baseball, and then your dickhead friend goes to Vegas. And rats you out. No, a, you want to know where he tried to do the bet? Go ahead. Bet MGM Sportsbook at the Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. I wonder what this guy does as a job. Oh, he's a real estate investor and youth baseball coach in Indiana. He's been charged with destroying evidence, tampering with witnesses, and providing false statements to the FBI. <laughs> So I guess at least he tried to cover it up. Third Sisk story. Sisk story. An update. 
update on a story we did before. The missing donkey from Bethlehem. Jackie. Yep. How's so, she doing? Did they find her? The Am I rushing weeks, into this? Weeks after it went first meant missing, the search is still on for a missing donkey. When's this as of? This was I did that that's a month old now. This is as of February first, so week ago, okay. Jackie has not been found, but last night we received a call in the Middle Road Turnpike area reporting a braying donkey. The area there are three donkeys in the area of Hard Hill, but they are not Jackie. Do you think she's still with us? She was seen once, and someone took a picture of her, but then they didn't let them know that Jackie was, that was Jackie. So someone took a picture of Jackie. Someone so knew that pic- it was Jackie, took a picture of it, and then did try to corral. Gee, what a cunt. Yeah. And then, then gave them the picture. <laughs> That's the problem with selling your soul to social media, Jared. <laughs> Well, they took a picture. Who cares about a picture? They care about the donkey itself. Don't f- take a picture of it. God damn it. Take if some action, If you saw, people. so say you didn't know. I tried to catch a and pig. All of a sudden, I tried to catch a pig once for somebody. In your neighborhood, you saw like a donkey wandering the street. Would you do anything about it or no? Definitely. What would you do? I would take a picture of it and send it to all my friends. <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, look what I saw on the road. A stray donkey wandering down the street. What would I do? I would. Um, like, would you try to see if anyone was missing a donkey or. I don't know. Well, what? Because I can't, like, put it in the passenger seat of my car. What do I do? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I'm wondering with this person. Well, they. Like, well, the I, way you read the story. Like, would I maybe, be scared of a donkey? Maybe I'm castigating them too quickly, but it, the way you said it made it sound like they were aware of Jackie's plate and they just took a picture and then went on their way i wouldn't have done that i would have taken i would have like so it's so this is i can read you the i would have hung out piece. with it for a while how about that i would have like stayed Animal there control said the donkey was reported missing from hickory lane adding she was last seen when a passerby took a photo of her hmm. she was only seen once when this picture was taken fortunately we were not alerted and despite our best efforts Wait. as well as donkey experts efforts as our donkey experts efforts she is still missing i like how they have a donkey expert on step that guy must be have must have been excited where do you think the don do you think they flew the donkey expert in from some other country sure. no There's how many no, donkey no, 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 no. experts are there in the, the country? donkey expert is like the guy that works he's been working at the feed store for 30 years he just knows a lot about donkeys and they just asked him like hey you know what would a donkey do in this situation no, he he thinks like a donkey. He knows what a donkey can, is feeling, what it's gonna do. I mean, it's been too long. I mean, now he probably should be fired. The donkey. I feel expert. like if I was a donkey expert, I could find a donkey in a month. If you gave me and you, if you fed us, gave us some flashlights. We, this is our new job. We get rid of Kevin the turkey. We find Jackie the donkey. Yeah. Towns have have towns have. Animal issues with animals that aren't that scary call Jared and Mark. Yeah. And we'll help you out. I'll do scary stuff. My feet are feeling good. I was just thinking today, like, I can walk totally normal now. I could run if I needed to. All right. What do you we mean you'll go- do scary stuff? We can, we'll catch, like, tigers Would you shoot a, shoot a video that goes on Instagram asking for information about Jackie? My actual today? face? <laughs> I don't know. You wear... You, Dress Cut like a someone's donkey? skin off and wear their face. Well, oh, ahead. you could dress. Yeah, you could wear a donkey mask. If I sure. Could wear a donkey mask, I'd do it. You should do that during this show. Then you should just wear different masks. That'd be great. Uh, would that get expensive? I don't have to <laughs> yeah, wear a new one every time, right? No, for sure. Okay. That well, would actually be pretty. That. Inter- that would be pretty entertaining, actually. So we'll keep posted if anything comes up, but it seems yeah, like... Yeah, come home, Jackie the donkey, the donkey. It seems like the donkey's probably dead. No, 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 no. People, don't, <laughs> they don't listen to Jared. Seems like it. No, all they have to do is eat grass. No, you don't think it's dead. You're just in a killing mood today for some reason. Maybe because you feel I mean, guilty you, about betraying you. You set it off today. You, you, well, don't blame I mean, I me. Guess I, I guess I ultimately first set it off, but you the beginning of the show kind of sent me down the dark i'm probably i'm probably gonna hurkle durkle a bunch tomorrow and well you love dancing that's great i think you're gonna over it perfectly (laughs) 
All right, that's all I got. Anything else you I have? I say we wrap it up. Okay. Produced by Eugene Neff Jr. Theme song by Maggie Ellox. Social media was done by Cousin Paul, but that might be shut down at this point. So. Oh, no, I don't blame Check Paul. You, you, you got Paul off the hook. You said he wanted to tell me. He I said, don't blame I Paul at all. I was going to blame you both be, of you. Are you I, I'm he wanted to that. tell you because he thought you were going to like it. So I was like, no, he's <laughs> not going to like it. I said, don't tell him. So I was right. Ultimately. You were right. You were right. For sure. Yep. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to break his heart when I tell him now. Maybe I'll just never tell him. I'll just send him the video and be like, oh, Mark just must be having video problems. I'll just, just keep it going. <laughs> Or put, a, um, put send, a really cool, handsome guy talking in my place. There you go. I like the mask idea, though. I think that's got some traction. <laughs> I um, wear a fucking luchador mask and laugh at your <laughs> goddamn stories. <laughs> yeah. It's going to fall off all the time. Well, don't cut those parts out. Send a letter. You can also write us at our address. It's on the podcast description. Or a fax. <laughs> fax in some stuff to Mark. 561-744-1831. Thank you to our email, the Valentine's email. That was very nice. Um, and Paul still hasn't come up with a contest, but maybe that's coming. Maybe he'll put all his energy into that now. Um, put <laughs> your phone he, down this week. Because he can't focus on the video stuff anymore. He can't do it. He was so... He was the... Put, you should see the last text he sent me. He was just so, he's like, I've got this down now. I can do it so quick. <laughs> he was like so proud of himself. Oh, poor Paul. Um, remember, hashtag spider dreams are real. Donate to your local spider dreams uh, foundation. Thank you, Glenn Allen Hill. To find a cure. And as Mark's friends have said to him before, I'm proud of him. Oh. Proud of him what he's done but if you have someone no one in your life who is proud of you anymore because you've betrayed your friends and no one likes you anymore you can always wait is that really the group is that the really the room. is that really the audience we're going for is bad and friends everything else <laughs> is cream cheese thank you everyone alright I'm hitting stop I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. The my groom's good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. That's what it's all about.